We are just back from lunch here at Data's R Us, and we are working on representing data on a dot plot. Welcome back, recruits. Next, we are taking a look at the measurements of petals on an iris. Where should we start? The highest number in the chart is 5 and 4 tenths, and the lowest number is 4 and 6 tenths. Let's start by making a number line that starts at 4 and ends at 5 and 5 tenths. Each tick mark in between the whole numbers will equal 1 tenth. This tick represents 4 and 1 tenth. This tick represents 4 and 2 tenths. This continues on until we reach 5 and 5 tenths. Now we will start plotting the information. The first measurement is 5 and 1 tenth. We will go to the 5 and count over 1 tick mark and place the dot there. 4 and 9 tenths. Start at the 4 and count over 9 tick marks and put the circle there. You too. Finish out the rest of the data points. One last problem. Here are the measurements from a women's long jump competition. Which dot plot represents the data in the chart? I will put the numbers in order while you figure out the dot plot. Okay, I notice there are four tick marks between each number. These tick marks represent a fraction. For example, the first tick after the six is six and one fourth. The second tick is six and two fourths or one half. The third tick represents six and three fourths. The next tick is seven. Now the numbers are in order. It looks like six and one half is the mode or happens the most. We can cross out any dot plots not representing six and a half as the most. All the dot plots show six and one half as the most. However, there should only be three dots representing six and a half because that is how often it is recorded in the chart. We can cross out A because it has more than three. That's right. There are also two seven and a halves recorded in the chart. Do any of the graphs left represent seven and a half wrong? Yes, look at graph C. There is only one data point represented. Also, this chart looks like it is missing some information. There should be 10 points and there is only seven points. Cross out C. I notice a difference between dot chart B and D. B has two data points over seven and three fourths. D has two points over six and three fourths. B can't be right because the chart doesn't have any measurements of seven and three fourths feet recorded. D is the answer. We are on a roll. You are both fantastic. You will be employees of the month before you know it. Take a quick break while I set up for the next lesson.